All right, what's going on, you guys? Brian here, and this is my NWA Power and Impact Wrestling recap for tonight's episodes. Uh, we're going to start off with NWA Power. Uh, once again, another, I thought it was another uh, average episode, solid episode this week. Um, we had a lot of uh, interviews on this episode, uh, one from Aaron Stevens who announced he's quitting, uh, in, he quit NWA, he's going back to California to film um, a movie or whatever for, fil for filming. Um, we heard from Thunder Rosa and Marty Bell uh, after they picked up a big, uh, or after they picked up a dominant victory, um, defeating Crystal Rose and Brooklyn Creed. Uh, we heard from the new NWA National Heavyweight Champion, Colt Boom Boom Cabana, who talked about his victory uh, last week over James Storm, winning the championship back. But then we'll be interrupted by Ricky Starks, who obviously has made his intentions known that he's, he's sold on gold, on getting gold. And he's made his intentions known. He, we could see that as a possible matchup for their, for their NWA pay-per-view coming up on December 14th. We'll have to wait and see. Um, the opening match was Trevor Murdoch uh, de defeating Caleb Conley. And what I thought was a pretty good opening uh, opener for that one. Uh, we saw the debut of... The question mark. Yeah, that's actually the character. That's actually the, per the the name of the individual that debuted, a masked man uh, known as the question mark, and he picked up a win in a squash uh, against. I think it was their. They called it. They called him D Man Dan Parker. Uh, that was qu the question mark's opponent. Um, we heard from NWA World Champion Nick Aldis, who talked about everything that was going on. Who's that? He's talking about how people want what they what they think they deserve, and you know, and that he was going to be sitting in on the tag team main event for the NWA World Tag Team Championships. And if you want to be champions or you want to be contenders, you have to earn. You know, do it the right way. And stuff like that. Um, what else happened? We heard from okay, Aaron Stevens. I'm trying to think who else. I'm trying to remember who else. Uh, we heard from the Rock and Roll Express, who made their presence known last week. Uh, in the main event, it was uh, Outlaw Inc. challenging the Wild Card, Thomas Latimer and Royce Isaacs, for the NWA Tag Team Championships. Um, Isaacs and Latimer won this one, the Wild Card won and retained their championships over Outlaw Inc. of Eddie Kingston and Homicide. Then a lot of people would get would come out after the match, start getting in everybody's faces. You had Nick Aldis who was at ringside, sitting at ringside. Uh, you had um, Eli Drake who did, who had an interview earlier in the in the in the show? He would be interrupted by Wild Card, as well as Mr. Anderson. You had James Storm. Uh, Camille came out. Uh, she's the insurance policy for Nick Aldis. Uh, you had the I believe the Dawsons coming out as well. You had Colt Cabana coming out. Uh, a lot of questions heading into into you know the uh, into future episodes. Um, what is who's going to be next to step up to challenge Nick Aldis? What's going on with uh, Camille? You know why hasn't she spoken or ha why hasn't she talked? Um, and you know a bunch of other stuff going on. A lot of a lot of things to uh, to watch out for um, in the next uh, few episodes or next episodes of NWA Power. So that was pretty much it for that. Um, they also did a, uh, they're going to be having a series pretty soon, or 
coming soon about uh, Thunder Rosa uh, into the into the cage. Of course, the woman that portrays Thunder Rosa, she made her MMA debut um, on a lo- I believe on a losing end, but they're going to be having her. There's a series about her coming soon on NWA Power. Uh, then, now we move on to Impact Wrestling for tonight's episode. Um, my overall thought on, on NWA Power before I get into that, um, I thought it was a really good episode. Like I said, I thought it was a solid episode once again. Um, a lot of questions being asked in that episode as far as, you know, who is the question mark? Uh, what's, you know, what is happening with, you know, everything going on with the NWA World Title picture and stuff like that. So, a lot to look forward to in the next few episodes of NWA Power. Uh, Now, Impact Wrestling results or recap. Uh, We opened the show with a six-pack or six-way match to determine the number one contender. Uh, Trey of the Rascals won that one, uh, so he is now the number one contender for the uh, Exhibition Championship. Uh, there was uh, um, a bunch of, a slew of other superstars in that match, like Petey Williams, uh, Willie Mack, Rohit Raju, um, a couple of other ones. Sorry about that. So, with that, um, that was the opening match. Uh, we heard from Michael Elgin, uh, who gave his thoughts on next week? Next week's um, now six-way match for the number one contendership for the to the Impact Wrestling World Title, um, and I'll give my thought on that one at the end of this video. Uh, Madison Rain took on Alexia uh, Alexia Nicole. Madison Rain picked up the victory in that one. Jake Christ took on Daga. This one I thought was really good. Um, you know, both guys really did a good job in this one. I thought it was a really good match. Uh, Daga picked up the win um, over Jake Christ, and now Daga's attention turns to next week, where he will be one of those six uh, it, uh, six people in that world title six uh, ch- six person challenge match. Uh, we had Sammy Callahan, the current in- Impact Wrestling World Champion, teamed up with Madman Fulton. Uh, they took on Rich Swan and T- uh, Tessa Blanchard. Um, Callahan and Fulton defeated uh, Blanchard and Swan when Sammy hit uh, Rich with the world title belt. Uh, Jessica Havoc picked up the victory in her match. Um, basically, it was a squash. Uh, and then in the main event, it was Eddie Edwards and Mara Fuji challenging the North for the Impact World Tag Team Championships. This one was a pretty good tag team encounter, in my opinion, uh, to end the show. Um, I thought Eddie Edwards and Mara Fuji did a really good job as a team. Um, I'm very impressed with the North um, as, as tag team champions. I, thought, I think they're doing a great job with that, um, with the holding those titles. Um, I do think Impact, Impact Wrestling needs to work on their tag team division. Um, I don't know why, but it just seems like they need to really work on their, on their division in that, in that uh, sense because, you know, they used to have a real strong tag team division, and now it's like, and now it's just, okay, let's put two singles competitors together and let's have them challenge for the belts. So, but uh, next week uh, is going to be a six-person uh, challenge match. The winner will be the number one contender and will challenge Sammy Callahan. Um, it is going to be Moose, Michael Elgin, Rich Swan, Tessa Blanchard, Daga, and Brian Cage, who inserted himself into that match uh, after helping Rich Swan and Tessa Blanchard after they were getting beat down after their match against uh, Callahan and um, Madman Fulton. The reason I have a, I say about this is because 
they have already announced what the mat, what the main event is going to be for their next pay per view um, on January 12th of next of 2020 at um, Impact's Impact Wrestling Hard to Kill, and that is going to be Tessa Blanchard challenging Sammy Callahan for the Impact World Title. Now, my, I mean, I have nothing against that match, nothing against it but it's kind of giving away the result of next week's match that Tessa's going to win, and then, and that's how... Now, I understand that these shows, this, these, these Impact shows are taped in advance, but why would you announce it before, or why would you announce that Tessa Blanchard's going to challenge Sammy Callahan for the world title before the episode where she actually becomes number one contender? I don't get it, but I'm hoping that Tessa, if you know, I'm hoping that Tessa makes history, becomes the first woman to become world champion of a wrestling promotion. I hope she does, you know, on January 12th. But I just feel like that kind of gave it away. Who's going to win and become number one contender? Oh, that you know she's going to become number one contender. So, but it is what it is. Um, overall. This week's episode of Impact, um, I like I said, I enjoyed the Daga and Jake Crist match, and also the tag title match. The rest of the stuff was eh, was was not all that uh, cracked up. It was basically just continuing a few, you know, a lot of the feuds and stuff like that, and a lot of squash matches. Um, we did find out that next week it looks like it's going to be Jordan Grace. Taking on uh, John Johnny Bravo and uh, or not John whatever the dude the dude's name is is that that's with uh, that's like the uh, that's with Taya Valkyrie um, so it is what it is we'll see what happens there but like I said this week's episodes of of Impact Wrestling I thought was eh, with the exception of the Daga and Jake Chris match and the Impact World Tag title match. And then I thought NWA Power was a really good episode for tonight. So uh, that being it, uh, once again, uh, this has been my NWA Power and Impact Wrestling recap for tonight's episodes. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.